Everybody, in Anamana, Haragasan, Big Hagasan, Spirit Nave, Amen. We begin as usual by apologizing for our little faults and failings. That's what life is made up of the small things <coughs> in life. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray on this feast of the guardian angels. O oh God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Lord says, I myself will send an angel before you to guard you as you go and bring you to a place that I have prepared. Give him reverence and listen to all that he says. Offer him no defiance. He would not pardon such a fault, for my name is in him. If you listen carefully to his voice and do all that I say, I shall be enemy to your enemies, foe to your foes. My angel will go before you. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded your angels to keep you in all your ways. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust, responds, The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. It is he who will free you from the snare of the father who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you for, with his pinions and under his wings will find refuge. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. Response. Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Response, the Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants who do his will. Alleluia. with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew the disciples came to Jesus one day and they said who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven so he called a little child to him set the child in front of them and he said I tell you solemnly Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And then he went on, anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Now, can you remember the last time somebody said to you, you're an angel. <laughs> huh? You do. When did the last time anybody say that to you? You know, because we say that to people, especially little girls, somewhere or other, but that doesn't mean that all angels are female now. Go on with that. <laughs> because men have men angels and women have female angels, yeah. But anyway, we say that to somebody who has done us a favor or done something that was beautiful without being asked to do it. Somebody who has responded to our need in a beautiful way. So we say, you're an angel. But and we really mean it because we know what angels are about. There are God's fingers, God's hands, God's eyes, God's ears, the whole lot. And he, at our conception, we were given an angel by Almighty God to guard us in our way, to guard us along the journey we're going. So no matter what we have bothering us, no matter what aches or pains we may have, we have a guardian angel especially appointed to look after you. And why we don't heed that and care for that angel. You remember when I was a child, I was told on my right shoulder was a good angel and on my left shoulder was a bad angel. So we used to walk around like that half the time. <laughs> we were pretending to be listening to the good angel. But it's very good, it's very true though. We do have a, an angel that gar cares for us. And if only we would remember that and use that gift that God has given us. He has given us so many beautiful gifts. The gift of sight, the gift of speech, the gift of hearing. And what do we do with it half the time? We use it to abuse him, unfortunately. We say things we shouldn't say. We listen to people we shouldn't be listening to. We look at things we shouldn't be looking at. Yeah, it's sad. We're very, very funny people. How God puts up with us, I don't know. And Our Lady as well, yeah. So we need to get our act together. And when you get old like me, you do get your act together and you begin to well, what do they say? You're beginning to swat for your finals, yeah. Mm. But anyway, no, it is very important that we do accept the fact that we have an angel especially appointed for us. 
and use that angel. That's what he's there for, or she's there for, yeah. All right. And then you can address your aches, your pains, your disappointments, your mental state, whatever, to that angel, and that angel will care for it. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, I think it's a great privilege for me to be able to stand here where our dear mother, Mary, first appeared to the three lads, the, three, the two girls and the boy. And it is a real, real privilege, and it's a privilege for every one of us to be here. I want to thank PJ for his preparation for this Mass. You did a lot of work by when everybody else was asleep, is that what you said? <laughs> but anyway. Take a bow, good man, yeah. Now, and then we have Catherine to come up and do prayers of the faithful for us. Come on up now. And I want to thank the choir. <laughs> your angels, your own <laughs> angels, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your responses. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. Jesus said also, if you ask for something in prayer, believe that you have it already and it will be yours. Believing that we have it already from God, we ask for love and mercy. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. Be merciful, and you will receive mercy. Dear God, soften our hearts towards those we dislike, that we may walk in love day by day. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. May we trust completely in your divine mercy and get up each time we fall, confident in your forgiveness, God our Father. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. We know Jesus will come again for each of us at the time of our dying till that day. May we work for his kingdom without fear, confident that he will welcome us home. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. In silence, we tell God of all the troubles we have. Give me your love and your grace. These are enough for me. Mary, you trusted even when all seemed lost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Catherine. Now we'll prepare ourselves to offer up the sacrifice of the Mass. And as you know, there are four parts to every Mass. We speak to God, which we have just done. And then God speaks back to us, as he did in the readings. And the main message he has for us today is that I have given you an angel to care for you. And then the third part of the Mass is we offer up the bread and wine to him. And number four, he offers it back to us in Holy Communion. So if we keep those four parts of the Mass very much in mind, we will understand a bit more what is going on. Okay. In bread we bring you, Lord, our bodies labor in wine we offer you our spirits free we do not ask you Lord who is my neighbor but stand united now 
Now let us pray that our sacrifice here on this blessed morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to eternal life. Grant this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. We raise them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right to God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the, pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through him the multitude of angels extol your majesty, and we are united with them in exaltation, as with one voice in union with everybody in heaven, we praise you when we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, my Lord and my God. And now we can joyfully proclaim our belief in what has just happened here. And we say together, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, the Lord loves us so much that he made up, he composed a prayer himself, and he gave it to us, and he asked us to say it reverently, devoutly, slowly, as often as we can. And that prayer is called the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Now we'll pray for peace in our hearts and in our homes. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you, peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Now you might care to share that with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Now, this is our friend Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary, who takes away all our sins. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the Lord in my soul shall be
beneath the stars of night. I will make the darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it my Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. By the Lord of snow and rain, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away. I will break the hearts of stone. Give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it my Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord. If you
It's nice to hear the couple of fuckle <coughs> here in Fatima. Thank you. Too. Kupla Fokkel is the Irish Gaelic language that we speak, some people speak in Ireland, yeah. <coughs> now, before we finish, we must honour Our Lady and thank her for the part that she plays in our lives. And we have a prayer in Ireland that is very popular, and I think it should be more popular of course, and that's called the Angelus. So we'll say that now together. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may bear the promise of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May his divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Now we'll say our final prayer of the Mass. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life, with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Grant this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you and keep you safe. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, we'll all go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you, Mr. Sacristan. Clever people of all ages gathered round the cable As we praise your name, golden rose, queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles cease as we kneel with love before you, Lady of message was unspoken, but the truth in silence lies. So I gaze upon your vision, and the truth I try to find. Here I stand with John the teacher, and with Joseph at your side. And I see the Lamb of God on the altar glorified. Golden rose, Queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles cease as we
Sun will shine.